welcome back to my channel everybody okay so we are going to make a quick rundown of uh we're going to actually uh figure out what the rundown is that they talked about in the office anyway so <laughs> we're going to do a quick rundown of everything that i have sold within the last couple of weeks we're just going to be fast and furious and uh, we're just going to jump right in into it and uh let's get started okay so the very first thing that uh, I sold is gonna be this Kansas City cup it is a Starbucks cup picked it up for 69 cents and it sold for $19.95 then we have this um, sevenfold uh, Avengers sevenfold uh, t-shirt picked it up for $2.69 and it sold for $21.24 then we have this Wham t-shirt. Picked this t-shirt up for $2.69 and it sold almost immediately for $30. Then we have this mushroom hat listed as a retro hat. Actually picked this one up for free and it sold for $17.99. Reckless Kelly. Sold a Reckless Kelly t-shirt. Picked it up for $2.69 and it sold for $20. That was an offer that we accepted. Then we have these Nike shoes. Picked these Nike shoes up for $5. They sold for $23. Then we have this Last Supper clock. Picked this uh, Last Supper clock up for $5 and it sold for $34.99. Then we have these Nike Air Jordans. Paid $10 for these and they sold for $30. Then we have this Douglas Pig. Douglas seems to be a really good brand when you're picking up plushes so pick this uh, Douglas pig up for a uh, three dollars and it sold for twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents I have this doctor who it was like a bobblehead picked it up for a buck at a garage sale and it sold for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents this is a boom boom tie a lot of people say not to get Beanie Babies. I would disagree. Most of the time when I pick up Beanie Babies, they do sell. Of course, I do lot them together uh, according to whatever special occasion. If it's like Easter, I'll lot, lot all the bunnies up. Or if it's uh, Halloween, I'll lot all of those up together. And I seem to do pretty well on them. However, I normally pick them up either for free or I only pay a couple of cents for them. You know, 50 to 75 cents. Rarely do I ever pay more than that for uh, Beanie Babies. But I do end up selling them pretty good. So this Thai Beanie Baby picked it up for free and it sold for $9.99. Then we have this Pepe Le Pew plush picked it up for $3 and it sold for $20. That was an offer that I accepted. Then we have this Happy Nappers. The Happy Nappers is like a kid's sleeping bag. Picked it up for five bucks and it sold for $29.95. Then we have this Hello Kitty. Picked this Hello Kitty up for $3 and it too sold for $29.99. It was a Hello Kitty Paris. Then we have this Starbucks thermos. Picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale and it sold for $25. Then we have this police magazine. <laughs> now, there is a funny story behind all of these um, magazines, detective magazines and police magazines. I will be sure and include uh, the link below in case you want to watch one of those other ones and uh, revel in my embarrassment. But it is uh, quite funny and you might actually enjoy it. So this one picked it up for 50 cents at a yard sale and it sold for $22. Then we have this puzzle. It is a Hayden a Lamson puzzle. These particular puzzles, I picked them all up they were all sealed in really really good condition picked it up for four dollars it sold for nineteen dollars and ninety five cents that is not the case with all puzzles but i have been very uh good, been doing very good with these particular puzzles then we have these mariachi boys picked these up for six dollars so it's three dollars a piece and they sold for thirty dollars now this one was a long tail it kind of took a while for it to sell about nine months for this particular uh, set to sell but i'm glad that they're finally gone then we have um the tommy pickles plush picked this plush up for three dollars and tommy pickles sold for twenty dollars and 79 cents then we have these blowfish tennis shoes I picked these up for six dollars they sold for 24 dollars that was an offer that i accepted then we have this bird uh, platter. Picked this bird platter up for $5 and it sold for 20 bucks. All right, um, we are going to just move right along. <laughs> then we have this Land's End vest. Picked this vest up for $4 and it sold for $25. Then this yellow dragon. Picked this up. Plushes do really well. Picked it up for $3, sold for $20.73. Then we have this Gruber. Gruber is a part of the My Little Pony uh, world. Picked it up at a yard sale. It just kind of interests me. I thought it was kind of cute. 25 cents and he sold almost immediately for six bucks. Six bucks isn't that much, but whenever you're only 25 cents in, 
Yeah, I'll take it. All right, so then we have this University of Hawaii hat. Pick this hat up for $3 and it sold for $79.95. It's crazy, right? Okay, so this Lantest Pro is, um, came in the case, picked it up. I really didn't even know what it was. I still really don't even know what it is. And picked it up for $5 and it sold for $45. And that was an offer that we accepted. Then these vintage Bambi sheets, Pick these sheets up for 25 cents at a yard sale and they sold for $23. That was an offer again that I accepted. Then we have these um, Tiffin's uh, 58 millimeter lens. Pick these lens up for a buck at a yard sale. Sold for $15.95. Then we have this Patagonia sweater. Pick the sweater up for $4 and it sold for $34.95. Now, there's this CD-ROM that I happened to find and in time I see CD-ROMs at garage sales, I always tend to buy them. And the reason why is because they really sell. Somebody somewhere is looking for that CD-ROM and I happen to find one. So I found this one, it was a Nightmare Ned. Picked it up for $2 at a yard sale and it sold almost immediately for $29.95. I picked up this little Kate Spade purse at a yard sale for $5 and it too sold almost immediately for $55. Then we have this Cabbage Patch doll. Pick this doll up for $3 and she sold for $17 and that was an offer that I accepted. Now, this pan is a Cathlon pan. Pick this pan up for $5 and it sold for $29. Okay, so moving right along. <laughs> then we have this um, vintage sheet set. It was almost like Saved by the Bell looking, you know, with all the retro stuff going on, picked up for 25 cents and it sold almost immediately for 20 or for, sorry, for $35 and 95 cents. Then we have these van sneakers, had these van sneakers probably for a little bit, maybe four or five months, picked them up for $11 and they sold for 40. That again was an offer that I accepted. Then we have this Boston poster. Pick this Boston poster up for about 25 cents. One of the edges was actually cut off and most people probably would have skipped it. We picked it up, thought maybe it might be worth something and it wasn't worth a whole lot, but it was worth $11. So I'll take it. Then we have this 1988 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, pillowcase. Pick this pillowcase up again for 25 cents and it sold for $16. Now, this Patrick Nagel poster, it was um, on foam board, so I couldn't roll it up or anything like that to ship. I actually had to, to um, kind of Frankenstein a box together to make a box fit, but picked this uh, poster up for $5 and it sold for $75. That was an offer that we accepted. And of course, the buyer paid shipping. The shipping on this particular one was about $50. Then we have this Patagonia flannel. This flannel picked it up for $4 and it sold for $30. Again, that was an offer that we accepted. Mount Motley Crew hat, of course we obtained it for free and it sold for $50. Picked this tissue box up for $5 and it sold for $29.99. Then we have this Care Bear blanket. Picked this Care Bear blanket up for around a dollar and it sold for $21. That was an offer that I accepted. Then we have this Briar Elk. As you guys know, I love Briar. Anytime that I see them, I pick them up. I have this thing for Briar where I can just kind of feel that that's what it is. It's a Briar. <laughs> Even if I can't find the stamp, I just know. Pick this one up for about a buck and it sold for $50. I have this pixelated cow. It was from the Parade of Cows. It's a little plush. Picked it up, saw it, had the tag still on it at a yard sale for 25 cents and it sold for $15. Again, that was an offer that was sent and I accepted it. So again, back to the plushes. So pick this plush up. I know that I had actually put it in another video whenever I did pick it up. Pick this plush up for about $3 and it sold for $49.95. It's a Fiesta plush. Super cute. I even kind of thought about keeping it for myself because uh, I like that kind of thing. <laughs> I like anything that's kind of different. And uh, this little swamp thing plush it surely was. It's super cute. Okay, so then uh, I also made another video about this particular item, which is the eight millimeters that I had picked up. Now, whenever I had actually first put these all, this lot on, I actually had another vendor contact me, or another seller on eBay contact me and kind of scold me about my prices and how nobody would um, pay me for them. Well, I've sold quite a few of them since, so I wish I would have remembered who it was so that I could uh, message them back and just let them know, hey, guess what, I've almost sold out of all. <laughs> 
all of my movies. But anyway, picked this eight millimeter Frankenstein up. It is of course vintage, picked it up for about a dollar and it sold for 40. And that is it for my video as far as everything that has sold. So we're gonna do a really quick recap and just let you guys know everything that was spent and of course what it sold for. So I'm all in at $136.76. And everything sold at $1,319.20. So if you are looking for a little summer job or something to do, something to kind of supplement your income, with prices kind of going up like they are, <laughs> it might be something that you could do, especially during the summertime when there are so many different garage sales to hit. It is a really fun way to make a little extra cash. So, okay, that's gonna be it for my video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe. I'll see you later.